that's hard to say but I I can tell you what the most special scene to me was and it had to be like the skating scene because that's a place that like when I was 17 years old I was there like all the time with like my the the character that like runs into Elijah Riley like that's like my best friend and me and him have a picture there we're like 17 years old and these guys are younger and they grew up skating around there too so it's like that's a special thing afternoon good evening and good night this is a legendary episode of the cool table and we're here with the cast and the creator of the new film caleb before we get into anything this is a legendary conversation just because me and marcus go way back so i'm very of all the stuff that he's done over the years this is the thing i've been the most excited about but welcome to the show guys i'm excited for this oh yeah what's up what's up we're 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 going to start from the beginning. This one's from Marcus. What was like the first, first thing that was like the spark of this of this movie? Because knowing you for a long time, I feel like there's been bits and pieces of this, you know, churning for a while. But what was the first thing that either went to paper or the first idea that went to film? Like what was the first, first idea that got this started? Uh, the first thing was like, I knew I wanted to make a movie and I knew I wanted to involve people I knew And then I kind of was just like, okay, I need to make a movie. I need to involve people I know, but I don't know what it should be about. And I had like five or six like different ideas. Like I had like a quarter of a script already written. And I was like, this doesn't even make sense. Like it's not realistic. And then I was like, let me just write a little bit about my life. Like what I know, the things I went through as like, you know, a black kid growing up in Mississauga um, outside of Toronto, running around, getting involved in all kinds of stuff. And like, I was like, yeah, like, I think this story needs to be told. The more I was, like, writing about it, like, I just started going, started going, and, like, when I was writing about it, I was like, yeah, like, I think this is a unique story that, like, not everybody gets to hear unless you live it, so, yeah. You had so many parts in there that was, like, real life. Like, I literally was written down, I'm like, yo, the, the ball up in the garage, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's real life. Man's walking and get pizza, that's real life. Like, so many things, so many things, and you depicted yeah. it, like, accurately it's rare in a movie like they, they'll try and show something accurately but when it happens in the movie it's like far from reality yeah. so elijah tell me about that first scene when you're balling up in the garage you're taking yeah. those low-key <laughs> shots like just talk about the, creating that scene because that's that that's at the tone for the whole was, you know that was my that was my favorite day of filming that was that was that day was amazing pulled up i was so nervous and then you know we went into marcus's house we chilled for a bit and then when the ball scene came up that was the first like I don't know, that was the first, like, camera face-up. Like, that was... <laughs> it was, it was kind of crazy for me in my head, but I don't know. As soon as we started talking to everyone there and then we got, like, the, the one little edit kind of film thing going, that was fun. That was fun as hell. That was... That was those are some real homies. Are, There's a couple of lines in there that are, that are mad funny. There's one where he's, like... <laughs> he, look, he look a little weird, dress a little funny. Huh? Yeah, and, and like then mad corny. And then there's the other one where he's like, "Shorty just left you because your car declined at dinner." And I'm yeah. like, "Yo, there's the, yeah. some of these lines that they just they just go in low key that it's like someone's doing a little key key listening to it, but I'm feel like it goes over some people's heads. Like the rest of y'all, the crew, y'all had a lot of those when y'all was chilling, when y'all were you know talking about killing all the animals and all that. Like, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's let's go to Jared first. Like, I feel like the comedy in this is like probably the my favorite part of the movie even obviously it tells a great story and when everyone gets to see it they'll kind of be touched by the story in a sense but it's the hot jokes that go low-key like that's <laughs> like genius to me so so jerry talk about just being a part of that and you getting delivered some of those lines yeah that was so funny because like marcus told me like i fit the character perfectly and i'm like yo that's some like weird shit i would say and it was just yeah this is a good, good time <laughs> 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 And Dick, Dickhead Anthony, talk about it. <laughs> but, yeah, but before before you hopped on, Marcus, as soon as he showed the camera, I'm like, oh, yeah, you're the dickhead. Like, <laughs> bro, as soon as I came here, I just got flamed right away. <laughs> Damn. 
No, it's, it's just, all good, bro. He's an actor. He's acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling cool you. Guy. I was just with him two days ago. We hang out like we're friends. Yeah, he's my boy. <laughs> trust me. Yeah, trust me. That, that dick hair character you're playing, because you play that character perfectly. It's like, you're still like a nice guy a little bit, but you have that, you, you're still sly. Like even yeah, because like, he's low like that. He's low like that. Yo, <laughs> real. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, when Marcus came to me with the idea of that, like he told me about like everything that was going on, like my character and like how I was playing it or whatnot. I was like, damn, like this is this is about to be fried. Like this is actually about to be so cooked. Like but whatever. Like we'll, we'll just do it. And like, dude, like on the day of filming, when we were like filming that one specific part, dude, I was just crying like yo i was so nervous like it was crazy but like yo everyone everyone literally made me feel at home like there, there was nothing really like that i had to like oh, worry about too much you know yeah. like like at first it was a little nerve-wracking yeah but like like after a while of just filming like you just start feeling comfortable with everyone like you know it's just all the homies together so it's like it's not no weird energy you know what i'm saying so like it, it was super sick super super sick definitely Yo, word for word, what Marcus told me before we started filming. No, there's no weird energy. It's just homies. Facts. Like, literally, Facts. that's what he said. Oh, it was. It's all homies. Yeah, because that's what we we wanted it to just be like all friends. Because these guys aren't actors, but I think they did a really good job. And these guys haven't seen the movie yet either. So like, you could tell them like, I like they haven't seen it at all. Now, you, yo, a real talk. Like I told Marcus yesterday, you can't even tell that y'all are not actors. Like on some on some. <laughs> yo. You, 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 yeah, Yo. you, <laughs> nah, you, <laughs> nah, for, no, for real, for real, you can't tell. So it's like, you guys definitely did your thing to hear about how nervous it sounds like y'all were in shooting the scenes. It's crazy because I don't sense any of that. Like, you know, it seemed like everyone was calm, all professionals. Um, Nico, tell me about, you know, th- your favorite scene that you got to be a, a part of, at least like from a acting perspective. That's a good question. Uh, from an acting perspective, I'd definitely say the scene where I come out and I confront um, Elijah's character, Caleb, the main character, and I'm walking down the steps and just like uh, not being like a professional actor, I'm, I'm going down the steps and I'm really in character. When I was speaking to him, I really felt like, yo, I'm about to punch this man in the face. Like, I'm, I'm mad at him. Like, <laughs> no, yo, when we I were was pretty, I was pretty cheap, <laughs> but I would definitely say like, a, like it was a lot of fun on set. Um I was laughing, bro. These guys had me laughing the whole time. I was with friends. And, like, even when the situations got, like, I feel, like, a little bit more stressful, Marcus was really good at, like, keeping it down and keeping everybody chill and just, like, waiting, ready to do our stuff. But, bro, like, he killed it. And, like, this was his project. And I'm so happy to be a part of it. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, for real. One thing I'll say, too, is, like, I think what really helped with, um, everything going smoothly is these guys all knew like how hard I like worked on it and they, they were everybody in, like here was a part of like the table read like from like that first day like even the script like changed from that day and these guys were there getting updates and stuff like that like we we're all there so they knew how many things had to go into making the movie because when we finished the table we didn't have any locations or anything like that yet so they knew how many things like went into it so like every time we were at a spot like I would say, yo, we have this amount of time here. And these guys were like, they just basically like pretended like if it was them doing it, like their movie, like they would want me to like, you know, like work fast and like not waste any time. So like every time we would hop on set, these guys basically would just like get straight to it. Like even that one day that, um, the day that Nico was talking about where he confronted uh, Caleb, Elijah's character, like he would mess up a line and he would like run all the way back to the start. Like, run all the way back and then he'd do it. Like, even sometimes, like, some people might have been like talking or something. And like, I see Nico's face, like, yo, let's go, like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, yeah. so, yeah, bro, I feel, like I, was, I feel like I was really in character for that. And I just didn't want to lose that. You know what I mean? So I was just like, I was like, I wasn't trying to rush anything, but I was trying to be stay in character and like do the scene. And like, I don't know, I, that's, that's why I felt that way. But like being with Marcus though, it felt like there was no pressure though. That was my favorite scene. The first time I watched it, the, the scene where you can yeah. up front. Okay. Look, I was like, this is a real scrap right here. Like, yeah. like yeah. that's that, about to get boxed. <laughs> that's a scene where I'm like, you can't tell y'all are first time actors at all. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That was yeah. one that was clear, like, yo, this is real emotion right here. You can see it for real. So big shout out to y'all for that one. And then 
Thank this question, this question is for Marcus. What was your favorite scene to shoot, like, or your favorite shot or movement that you had, where you're like, "Oh, I murdered that." You know what? I don't think, I don't think there's anything. Hmm, that's hard to say, but I I can tell you what the most special scene to me was, and it had to be like the skating scene, because that's a place that, like, when I was 17 years old, I was there like all the time with like my. The, the character that like runs into Elijah Riley, like that's like my best friend. And me and him have a picture there. We're like 17 years old and these guys are younger and they grew up skating around there too. So it's like, that's a special thing for like us to have such a like age gap, but we both share like the same place with, for the same reason. So like bringing that to like actual, like, sc like script, like actual story, like film instead of just like a skateboarding video, like bringing that with, with like lines and everything and like, that like being there and like just nobody bothering us because we knew it was a place where you could like do your thing like yeah. it was like it, it felt cool it felt just like I was a kid again I'm sure it just felt like a regular day for Elijah skating again just with some lines you know so like that was the most special scene to me um I think my favorite one though was like uh Sega like the pizza stuff like he was going crazy <laughs> 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 no, if you saw that one, that one is actually crazy. I think that one got like gap teeth. Like, so I actually had to hold in my lap while we were filming. <laughs> yeah, no, that was yeah. 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 I was, I was looking at Marcus because we were watching on the screen on the side, and I'm looking at it, and I'm I'm literally trying to hold in my lap. I was gonna burst out laughing, but like, no, like he, just, he killed it. I was gonna ask y'all because like when I watched it the second time, when Kelly was to talk to him, and he's like, "Yo, like." Right, Tay, Tay, whatever, whatever, and then yeah. it goes back to y'all sitting down. In my head, I expect y'all to be dying laughing because that's so, <laughs> no. bad, you know. And then it comes to y'all and chill. I'm like, that's nah, they were yeah. these guys were acting, man. I'm telling you, like, but I think it's funny because that whole day that was the worst day I've ever had, like filming anything, but it came out great. But that was like, that was the worst, the worst, worst, worst day. Yeah, that was that was that was tried. We were filming was that, was yeah. Yeah, that was real. Kids yeah, getting back from school awesome. and like screaming and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was like just standing even, even the before side that, like just getting there, like the whole story of that day. Like we oh, were shooting God. the scenes with uh, Elijah and Jen, which was his mom. Mm -hmm. We were shooting those scenes, and we left there at like what, like four in the morning. And, yeah, uh, we, we, to, Cole was late, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah so we had to be late, yeah. we had to be at the pizza place for like seven the next day. So we slept for like an hour, and we all met up. And um, I was mad tired and I was leaving my garage in my house and I scraped my car, but my whole car door. So I had to drive back in. I know you guys remember it. I, I, had, to, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had to drive back into my house. Sure and, tragic. Um, Jensen, who's a producer on it, he came and picked me up and he drove me and we got there early. <laughs> and I even woke up that day to Sega and Sega's like, yo, get my Uber. And I was like, what are you talking? I didn't even know what day it was. And I was like, oh my God. So I had to, I woke up, got his Uber, left the garage, scraped my car, put the garage back in, took the equipment out, got in Jensen's car, drove all the way there. And then everybody was showing up. We only had maybe four hours to shoot there, tops. And then everybody was just crossing off the list. Like, okay, like uh, Jensen's here, Sawhill's here, everybody, the production team, like Koisi's here. Okay, all the actors are here. But the audio guy was not there. And it's, oh. funny because, it's funny because Cole is the most, the whole movie, he was the most on it guy out of everybody. Yeah. So it was like mad funny because like, I, if, if there was anybody that would have done that, I wouldn't, I would not, I would have said me before him. Like <laughs> he was on it way more than me and he wasn't there. And then we had to go drive across Toronto to go pick him up, wake him up, go bring him back. And then we started shooting like an hour and a half late so we lost like a bunch of time and then we got there and then somebody forgot the headphones and then a man had to go grab the headphones and come back and then after that we're shooting and then one of the actors for the next day tells me he has covid so he can't come so he had to find a replacement yeah and he's got to try to do the scenes and then we go outside and there's kids on bikes popping wheelies it's crazy <laughs> that's a wild day that's a wild day that was wild that was yeah was wild the, yeah. the the thing you're talking about um in the shop it was even crazy to me because I remember you telling me about that shot, but I never seen it. But you told me about that shot from times so I was like, it's the first time me visually seeing yeah, yeah. the shot you're talking about. So I'm like, yes, yeah, it's like it coming to life. So that was that was crazy for me to see. The the two scenes that I feel like are pretty interesting is the is a pizza one we're talking about where he tries to get it changed. And then um I think it's uh Dickhead's character, Anthony, who uh mm. gets a little oh. gets a little explanation from Elijah. 
when when the premiere night happens, I, I I'm gonna. This guy's have running. He's running. It's gonna running. be like this. And then fucking dude. No, it's, it's not funny because, it's funny because nobody can. It's something you don't even see coming. It's so random, but that's really how it is. Yo, yo, you're like talking to your friends. Yeah, it was all supposed to, but that's really how to, that's another one where I'm like, this is real life, especially yeah. how Elijah handled it, which is what yeah. I like, how Elijah handled it, it was, I was like, he handled it like a G, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and it's like, right. in those situations, like, that's really how it goes. So, and yeah. you, you killed the whole thing in terms of acting perspective. Talk about at least your acting in that scene, because I feel like you have a little bit of a, a line in the middle there of like, you're, you're a little upset, but you're still keeping it cool. Um, I don't know. This guy's playing like he didn't say it before, so like it wasn't like nothing. <laughs> <new>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, but like even like, yeah, no, I don't know, I don't know. Like I just acted cheese. Like I was just like, what? Like what do you mean by that? Like why would you even try that out? But like mm. with more heart, heart than that, because like, mm. I'm laughing right now. But you know, <laughs> so yeah. But something funny about that on the table read, we're all sitting there. Everyone in the movie is in the in the room, and it comes up to that point in the script. And this guy, he's, he has to say it right now. And then, like, he's, <laughs> oh, not, yeah, he's, not, yeah. he's not, he's not, he's not saying it. And I'm just like, yo, what? Who's in Paris? Who's in Paris? <laughs> no, listen, Let's, listen. Because when we, were, when we were at the table reading and that part came up, I, I realized that I'm like, hold yeah. on. I'm not. No, 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 no. I need, I need, <laughs> to, like, I need to wait because, like, I need to prep no, myself no, for this. Like, you know what we were going to do, too? Um, as a joke, the production team, we were going to add the scene that you guys don't even know about. But we were gonna have that happen, and then Sega was gonna be behind the counter, and he was gonna like lean over. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the jokes. <laughs> we, we we decided not to do it because we have the, the other one, so we we're like, because we wanted to give him like an extra thing, but we have the other one, so it's fine. But yeah, we we, we didn't want it to be too much because we didn't want people to laugh at that scene too. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny for a second, but it's not really funny at the end of the day. That that that's why I like that scene a lot because I feel like. One thing you did well is the tone of some of these scenes. Like, you know, like like the ball up scene I said before, the ball up scene has the right tone of like it gets a little stressful at first. It's like, oh, you call yourself C now. Then by the end of it, it's like, okay, we just cooling. And then it goes back to him being stressed. So I like the way you match the tone going through all of those. One of my favorite things in this film though is the soundtrack. Like, you know, saying obviously, obviously A1, you put me onto a lot of tracks back in the day. My my no, 100 percent, bro. T- listen, to this day, Foster the People, I know from you. So you'll you'll always, always have that. Um Yo. my favorite, my favorite part is when Check the Rhyme comes on when he leaves. Listen, um, they don't know. They yeah, don't know. I don't, I, we don't even know. We don't, we don't know the soundtrack. Well, I'm we know, know the I'm soundtrack. Giving Marcus, I'm giving Marcus his flowers, man. Because once 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 this comes out, I'm sure everyone's gonna be shouting out Elijah and Dickhead and Jared. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, Gebski forever. You're just dickhead now. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's that's literally what it is. Now. But it's like I I want to I want to give Marcus his flowers. So there's that one you 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 killed it with that with that choice right there. And right. then this this scene, um, you know, Elijah, tell us about this the Uber ride home with the sketchy Uber driver. Yeah. I love that. It, yeah. I love I love I love that it's Shadi playing because you know Shadi the Queen. But yeah. tell tell us about 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 that scene because I thought that scene was pretty funny. That scene was that scene was um that scene was fun. The most like the hardest thing about that, I had the the black eye at the time, and I kept just going like, I was tired. Oh, yeah, yeah. And and then I and then I just be like, it's like Marcus, yo, is it fucked up? Is it fucked up? Yo, you gotta come. Yeah. I don't want. <laughs> yeah, the world, yo, I don't want to be fucked up for his movie. Like this is this is this is bad. Cause I kept doing like I just kept doing it. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, but once we were in the car, we we're just talking. Like you just like when it's a mellow like, a mellow tone like that. It's easy to feed off the other guy's energy. Like you don't act sad, but you like, you act like something's up. You know, yeah. like you just play play around a bit. Yeah, like That's I don't know. You just feed thing. off the other guy's energy and you just keep it going back and forth. Cool. Like the Uber driver, Mike. Yeah. Like he was at the table read with us too. Like that was important because yeah. the way we strategized it was like we wanted everybody that had like real emotional roles to actually be at the table read, so yeah. like everybody can meet and understand. Like oh, like yo, this is kind of new for everybody here. Like. Mm-hmm. Nobody, it's not like all like, like Joaquin Phoenix is in the room and these guys got to start like, you know, like it was just like, everybody's like kind of new to this, but like some are experienced, some aren't like, and everybody's different. Like some people make music, some people skate and everybody kind of just bonded. Like most, of the, a lot of the table read, we were just talking and laughing and just like having yeah. fun, like, mm-hmm. like just talking about like life for a long time. Yeah. Like the table read wasn't even that long, but we were there for like a yeah. couple hours, just like talking yeah. and laughing. And I think that I was, was the stressing. important part. I was stressing that day. I'm like, yo, we're gonna be sitting here reading this whole thing, and I'm like dyslexic. I, to, I don't like reading out loud, so I was like stressing hard. 
but then we're, we're doing it and i was just like oh it's not even it's whatever like it was so we're just ta- talking about everything everyone's just talking everyone's just having fun then we're just reading the script and as we're going through the script it was just cracking jokes cracking that like you know it was just whatever no, I, I like to hear that it was a good it was a good vibe on set. That's that's ex- kind of yeah. expected, but you know, I'm I'm still I'm still uh, really really happy to hear it. I want to know: is there, are there any lines in here that were kind of like ad libbed or freestyle? Because you got, I'm telling you, there are some crazy oh, yeah. one liners in this film that I'm like, oh yeah, there's a few. I don't know some of, some of the interview scene, like when when some of the stuff I'm supposed to say, I changed it a bit. Most of that is ad lib. Yeah, yeah. Cause... I had to get so mad; it's hard to like repeatedly say the exact same thing with so much emotion. So it was just kind of like. I just switch up whatever whatever could come out and make sense and like 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 mm-hmm. go like make make a proper sentence you know like whatever could go come out yeah. that's what came like, that's what came out. <laughs> I think in in here, um, body ad libbed. Body didn't want to ad lib, but we kept telling him to because yeah, when yeah, he yeah. was on set, like the words on the paper didn't match it coming out of his mouth, and we kept telling him to ad lib. But the man studied the script. Like the man was telling <laughs> the man was telling me lines that I didn't even know were there. Like we're reading the script and I was like, yo, you missed the line. He's like, no, I'm supposed to say this. And then we all had to look at each other and we're like, oh, <laughs> it gives this guy knows like more than we do. He, he was ready. He was ready. He was ready. <laughs> yo, I, I think Body was probably like the most ready out of like all of us. Yeah, yeah Body was yeah. definitely the yeah. most ready. Um yo, bef- before uh, we even started filming, I was like, yo, is this guy actually we're actually about to shoot a movie right now? And then we pull up the first date, and then like you had all the cameras, like we were there, we were like, like you were going no matter what the fuck I was doing or not. And I was like, yeah. fuck, I can't be like out here being weird because me feeling weird and acting weird, that's going to make them look like, like they're going to look at me weird. But if I'm just like feeling awkward, but like acting normal, like, like acting like how a normal actor would, exactly. they're going to look, they're going to look at that as normal, not the yeah, other way yeah, around. Yeah, so yeah. it's hard to like, it's hard to flip that. Yeah. And like, dude, like we kept saying like Elijah was tweaking, bro. Like he would be, cause if you know who Elijah is, you know, I haven't seen the movie yet, but if you know who he is, like watching the, um, watching the movie, you're gonna just think oh like he's just like that but it was weird because there would be days where like it would be like a serious scene and like before this scene like elijah's like blah, 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 like, you know, like, like it's like a whole different person like, and then like, the camera turns on he's just like everybody everybody on set was just like whoa like people are like during that interview scene too i remember gebski he came anthony you call him yeah. gebs he mm-hmm. came and he was uh like some of the scenes, like he was just looking at me because, like, I could see him. Like he's just like, <laughs> like yo, I'm people. telling you, yo, I was tripping. I was like, dude, this guy was just laughing two seconds ago. Like, yeah, to start yo, crying. it, it, it started then, to get pretty crazy. Like, I really don't know how he did that. I can't, I can't that, do that. That was weird. That, was that dope, interview scene was, was heavy. Like, that was that. I, that, that, scene was, was, that was heavy. Every time I'd walk out the room, I'd be like, oh my god, like I have to like, like put on this whole show again. Like, like it's what I want to do because, like, yeah. damn right, I'd rather do this shit than do anything else. Like, you yeah. know, but like. I just be like, yo, gotta walk in here and just get all cheesed again, you know. <laughs> you know? I, think, uh, I also think like a lot of it was ad lib. Um, the scenes that Elijah did with his mom, that one line, that the one line that's ad lib that I love the most in the movie when he's like, when you when you see it's gonna come out, but he's like, a floor is a floor, and then yeah. Ben is like, really, and then he's like, yeah, and like we're, like, yeah. <laughs> yo, no one told him to say Not- that. That, so that, was real like, that, that, that was real attitude. That was real attitude. That was my reaction. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. When he said that, joking. we were just like, "Holy!" Like that's that's just waiting for a box. Like <laughs> that's that's really what I was like. This is real life. Like that scene too. I was like, "He's getting box." Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> when we were on nah, set nah. and he said that, because it's like because it's Yo. real life. It felt real. And he's like, like yeah. Armor. Like we looked at each other like, "Oh, is he gonna get like box?" But like we forgot he was. We were like making a movie. It was funny. Oh. Paul Armor protected me. Plot armor. <laughs> my my favorite um line that 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 uh it's to it's towards Elijah when yeah. Oshan calls him a black eyed peas nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these I don't even know if you get that's that's an ad lib line. Nobody told him to say that. Yeah, no, that yeah. So yeah. these guys probably don't even know because that wasn't in the script. So when was, he said was that, that in the garage? Happened. No, no, that was at um the convenience store. Mm. That that oh, one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one kill me because I'm like, I like I like that that Caleb catches all these strays. That's like my that's one of my favorite. Like I've seen a movie a couple times. Like yeah, I like that he catches all these strays. Like when he leaves the garage and they're like, "Yo, white boy, don't drink and smoke, don't drive." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh, we're throwing shots at me. Yeah, I, I love that he, he's <laughs> catching all these shots, and it's like because he's not 
you know, to, at least to me, like, you don't seem like the straight underdog. Like, it's clear that you have, like, potential and are intelligent. You see, like, you know, your friends are believing in you to some degree in the film. Yeah. So it's like, he's still that guy, even though he's catching um, all these all these straight shots. This this one goes to uh, Jared. Yeah. You know, you guys are walking to get pizza. Mm-hmm. And you're talking about this hypothetical, which we don't have to get into. But that... I felt like was like so so freaking funny. Tell me, just tell me about shooting that and like doing that over and over again. Yo, first of all, before he, before he even answers that, there was bare wasps that day. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys remember we were trying to fight the beat. It was crazy. Like yeah, no, we you know, I just like, boxing them. The Yo, air. that's actually me and Jersey thing. That's me and Jersey thing for real. Yo, wasps are invasive. No, like yo, Box them out when you <laughs> see them. They're not day- from here. Yo, no, you're not day. from here. Don't come here. We'll kill you. <laughs> just watch. Just watch. No, that day when when they started boxing all those wasps, like I literally told him, like, why are you like, what are you doing? You're gonna get yourself hurt. He's like, no, these are invasive. They're not supposed to be. I'm nah, like, all right. I'm even. surprised. Yeah. I'm surprised I'm nobody got stung. Oh god. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Let's let Jared answer the question. Though, my bad. I just, wanted, I just wanted to yeah. put that out. There. No, that that film that scene was like. It's a little hard to film because I kept on like messing up my lines all the time. And then when we would like get a proper line going, like some kid would just like walk by us and just scream because they saw that we were like filming a video and it like kept on throwing me off. But eventually I got it and I haven't seen it, but I, I think it turned out pretty good on that scene. But yeah, it was, it was really fun. Like it was just me and the three homies just walking around. And we're just talking about a hypothetical situation. But like that's something that we would talk about in real life. Yeah. Yeah, that's no joke. Like when when I replied to him, like after he said that, I I wasn't joking. Like, <laughs> I'm not even playing. That's some of the best acting in in the whole thing because I remember watching it um uh, like over and over, and like there was some things in the movie that I was like ah like I'm gonna have to do some like some stuff to make this one you know but like scenes like when he was like yo I worry about you like for real. <laughs> I was like, yo, like that looked like it was not acting. Like it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't a joke. Now that, that that's another one of those scenes that's like seemed like real life. I can't wait for y'all to see it because to me, I think this is you you have a high watchability with this one. Like, like this is definitely something that you could watch like over and over and over right. and over. So I'm I'm excited I'm excited for y'all to see it. The the, the kind of uh not I'll say the ending, but Towards the end, when Elijah is talking to his cousin, and mm. you know, he's his cousin is trying to give him some advice, and that would mm. be that is my best, like my favorite acting from you uh, personally in, in in the end because you like obviously obviously you got cheese in the interview, but this is a different yeah. type of cheese yeah. Yeah. towards the end. So talk yeah. about that because you, you tapped into what one version in the interview, but this is different than that. So talk about yeah. tapping into that. I don't know. It's funny you bring that up because, like, I was thinking when I was acting in the scene, this is not, like, just angry. This is pain now. Like, before in the interview, it was just angry, you know? Like, Mm -hmm. there's no real pain behind something like that, but this is pain. So I was like, I got to try and make my voice like crack or something when I'm doing it. I I couldn't. (laughs) Because I I knew if I allowed it to crack, it would crack too too rudely, and I would just, it just, it'd just be done. I think, like... Yeah. So I just tried to turn up a little more and just, like, I don't know, not as deep as a voice. I don't know. That's, like, something I was thinking about. That but. day, like, I remember, like, that was the most emotional day for everybody yeah. because it was that also was the last, last day. day. It was the yeah. last day, but even, like, body, like, he had, like, tears in his eyes, like, for some of it. And I remember I was just, like, it was, body like, fun, bro. it was crazy because, like, that scene, like, everybody, like, especially if you're, like, a young Black kid, like, you've gone through something, like, like that. Like, look at this guy. you gone through something like that. Like, you know what I mean? So... It was very emotional and it was really, emo- it was like a combined thing with like the content, but also like seeing something that deep come to life was like really crazy too, because they were taking it serious. And like, it was a real small set that day too. Like that was a really small one. So mm. it was kind of just like the last few people that needed to be there. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just made it happen. But that was, yeah, that was a deep scene. That was like really, really, really deep. That one actually. No, that, yo, yeah. there's, there, there's like some parts in this where it gets a little deep and I feel like like you also don't see it coming like the, you're, there's no way you could watch this movie for whatever amount of time and you're like you're about to get deep at the end you know like there's no there's no way you see it coming and then it's like hard to ignore it's not like 
you know, it's not like it's not a slave movie where it's like, yeah, I understand how this is, but you still, <laughs> you, you still get the message without it, you know, you having to cry about your ancestors. So I, I feel like that's, that's a really uh, important part there. We're going to head to a part two of this pod. So um, everyone, make sure you subscribe and tune in for a part two. Um, it's been it's been great so far. We're going to head up over to a part two. Thank you.